Mr. Joe Cujo. Hello, my people. So today I'll be showing you guys how to boost performance and FPS by playing Apex on Robux like graphics. Now, I obviously do not recommend anyone who has a high end PC to use this method for better performance because it just isn't worth it. But I mean, if you still want to try it out for fun, then do it at your own risk. There's a lot more disadvantages than advantages when playing on this graphics, which you will learn about very soon. So my goal of this video is to enable potato PC players to play Apex because I've been there once where I had a potato PC and I couldn't play Apex at all and I used this method for about 3 months sometime around season 1, season 2 until I got my Xbox S where I continued playing up, up until season 6 then I got my gaming PC I know this isn't a good way to play Apex but this is where my humble beginnings were which helped me out a lot during that time so no more talking let me show you how to do it now the first thing you want to do is download the nvidia profile inspector that's the only software you need which you can download safely from github the link will be in the description below so after you've downloaded and extracted the file you need to open nvidia inspector now after you've opened it at the top where it says profiles you want to make sure it's on global driver profile as seen here okay now after you've made sure of that you want to go to the first category Antia Liasi. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced but bear with me sometimes my English isn't English -ing. so in that category you want to find anti aliasing transparency super sampling you need to make sure this is set to AA mode replay mode all after you've set that, the next thing you need to change is anti-aliasing gamma correction. You need to set this to off. The next one is anti-aliasing MSAA mode. Make sure this is set and override any application setting. Now we move to the next category called texture filtering where you need to find anisotropic filter mode and set this to user defined backslash off. It might already be set to this, but just make sure. Now in the same category, you need to find texture filtering LAD bias DX and texture filtering LAD bias OGL. Now you need to edit both of these data and type in zero X, then six zeros, with 7 8 at the end so that's 0x 0 0000 0 0 0 0 0 0 7 8 make sure to recheck if it's correct now to apply the changes you've just made make sure to click apply changes in the top right now let's just say you don't want to bother trying this or something in your setting is kind of you can always click this Nvidia icon here at the top to revert back to default settings. So after you've applied the changes, open Apex Legends. Yep, so that's it. That's how to get Roblox graphics in season 17. Now to be honest, the other big reason I made this video is because I saw a guy on Twitter uploading clips with these graphics and instantly I remembered back when I did it in season 2. It gave you the ability to see through smoke, trees, and no bullet hit marker clutter, which was actually bannable if you're ever caught doing that. So I went ahead to try it for myself to find out if that is still true, and to my surprise, it's nothing like it used to be years ago. So in no way, shape, or form, this gives you a big competitive advantage. It's actually a big disadvantage for whoever decides to do this. That's why this is only for potato PC users that are struggling to even start the game and keep it running. Now the biggest disadvantage is everything flashes VFX boxes which can cluster your screen very heavily. Like Bangalore smoke, it's a lot more thicker and if you step inside, your whole screen goes white. Also you can no longer see through smoke so that's a plus.
Also popping blood on the alt is a disaster. You can't see anything but red lines and black lines clustering the screen. What I will admit though is that walking around and seeing enemies are a lot more easier because everything is plain and in one color. The clarity of some parts of the firing range is a lot more easier on the eyes as well. Also, you can see it see through bushes. I really hope they do something about that soon. But apart from more performance, more clarity and seeing through trees, the disadvantages are endless. I can already imagine when being shot at, the only thing pops up on your screen are just VFX hit mark and blood boxes flooding the screen. So if you're on, on an okay PC, just lower your quality. You're better off doing that than doing whatever this is. Choo-choo! 